In this video, I'm going to share with you a quick and simple makeup routine for those who are 40 plus. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and I am the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. I am an Instagrammer, YouTuber, and TikToker. And I'm also the author of Manifest Like Lauren. It's my ebook on how I can bring anything I want into my life. I literally can manifest anything and I share with you my secret recipe on how I do it. You can find the link down below in the description box. So I just recently turned 40 years old. My birthday was October 29th and I am filming this about one month later. I want to share with you my simple, quick and easy makeup routine I do on a pretty much a daily basis. And it's just something that I love to do. And I thought to myself, you know what? This would be so helpful to so many women. So right now I have my morning skincare routine on. I have a video on that. You can check that out after this one. And I have nothing else on my face. Oh, I do have a little bit of my gloss, which I'll show you in a minute. I just had to put it on. It feels so amazing on the lips. But there's no filters on this video. There's no edits. There's no tricks. I don't even have a ring light. I'm in front of a frosted glass window in my bathroom. And I'm in my bathroom because downstairs, I currently have five 11 year old boys having a full out day of video games and eating who knows what, but it is a Sunday. And this is the only place I can get a little bit of quiet. So. I have, as I said, my skincare on, including my SPF. And the first thing I'm going to put on is some foundation. Now, I don't need that much foundation on my skin. If you're wondering about Botox, by the way, or any injectables, I have a little bit of baby Botox right here, just a touch. And I have a little bit here as a preventative for the 11s. But you can see I have a lot of movement in my face. I like just a touch. And um, my forehead is quite smooth because I don't move my eyebrows when I talk. I've always been like this and it's prevented me from really, you know, being very expressive on my forehead and creating some fine lines. So that's how I am. The foundation that I use is by Nude Sticks. This is the Tinted Cover Foundation. I've done a few videos on this before. Honestly, the ingredients to me read like more of a skincare product than a makeup product. So for me, I feel like this is something that's just nourishing my skin. I can tell you it is. I've been using it for a few years and I am obsessed with it. I'm using a beauty blender sponge and I just bounce the sponge into the foundation and then just bounce it onto my skin. I love this product because it's just infused with so many wonderful antioxidants. Keep my skin just looking incredibly fresh and bright and you know, free of any discoloration, hyperpigmentation, all of those things. So it gives my skin just a beautiful base and a lovely glow. I have very, very, very dry skin. I'm constantly putting different products on my skin to just really keep it nicely hydrated and moisturized. Otherwise, my skin would just be completely dehyd well, dry. It would end up getting looking dehydrated and it would be also painful. When I wake up in the morning sometimes, if I haven't really properly taking care of my skin the night before, which to be honest, I don't do as much anymore. It was more of a thing in my 20s, but my skin would feel like it would crack in half. So I really do need to constantly infuse my skin with the right ingredients. It all comes down to ingredients and I'm an ingredients queen, ingredients uh, obsessed person. I have actually, I'm a beauty editor, but I have a, my bachelor's degree is in biomechanical engineering and my master's degree, I have a master's of science in nursing, but I'm not working as either of those. Now I'm going to use this Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is such a great one if you have some creppiness under your eyes, if you feel like when you put on makeup, your under eye area just looks older, you want to use this product. This is a thick concealer, but don't be afraid of that. And it's just so incredibly nourishing to the skin. And you don't need a lot. I just put it here because I have a tiny bit of discoloration. 
and just underneath sort of the teardrop area of my eye. And then what I do is I use the same sponge and I use the tip and I just bounce it into the area that I just applied it. And I let it kind of carry through to the outer corner of my eye, just whatever is remaining without just loading it up with product. And you can see it just gives me a nice little um, I would say it just covers it up a little bit without being too much. One of the things I cannot stand is having a cake face, that cake face look, and especially as I'm getting older, I just can't do it because if I load up my face with tons of products, it's just going to start to exacerbate the little fine lines that I have under my eyes, the fine lines I have that are kind of emerging because that Botox is wearing off. I got it a while ago, so I don't even know if really any is there. But it's just the less, the better. The less, the better. So with, with that less amount that you're using, you just wanna use the right products. So now I'm going to put just a little bit of color on my cheeks. Um, I love this nude stick. Uh, What's this called? The Nudies Matte. This is a new shade. It's called Juicy Melons. And you can see it's just this beautiful pink shade. And what I do is I just put it up here and here. So I don't put the blush like right here at all because I feel like it kind of weighs my face down. So instead I put it up and it gives me that color that I'm looking for, but also just a little lift to my skin. If you're someone that is constantly you know, using your skincare products, your nighttime, if you're religious with your retinol or whatever you're using, you don't want to kind of counteract that by then wearing makeup that's going to drag your face down. But you can see it's given me just a little bit of a pop of color. Of course, if I want to add more, which I don't normally do, but I'll just show you for anyone that likes a little more on their face, you can then just build it, which is nice. And I just love these crayons, or I don't know what you call these. I think I call it a crayon. I recently went to Singapore and I brought them with me and that's really just what I put on my skin the entire time. So you can see now it just gives my skin a nice healthy glow that has that little flush and I feel like I look like me, just maybe a slightly more put together version of me. I'm going to put just a touch of highlight on my skin and this is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Light Wand. Now, this is a tiny size. I was recently at actually Charlotte Tilbury's Christmas party and uh, they gave me this one. I had run out of my full size. So I was so excited because I, you know, didn't have to buy it. So I like to put the, the highlighter in these areas and it's supposed to be where light would naturally reflect off your face. And it's just going to give you a little bit of a pretty sheen, a pretty glow to your skin. And it's a, it's a glow that's not, it's not one of those blinding highlighters, but at the same time, it's just, it's a beautiful, healthy looking sheen. And it's one that when you wear, people will say, oh, what highlighter are you wearing? It looks just so beautiful on you. And this is just the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight Highlighter. So now I'm gonna go into my eyebrows and I love using this pencil. This is by Makeup by Mario and it has two ends. One end is for the spoolie. These are called spoolies. And what you want to do is just brush your brows up. Once again, you're going for that lift. We always want to lift. So brush them on both sides and then fill them in with color. You can see my eyebrows are a, light, a lot lighter than my hair shade. I've always had light eyebrows. I feel like I have eyebrows for a blonde person, but I'm clearly not blonde. So there's the pencil. And I just sort of start around here, not the very beginning, but just maybe, I don't know, a quarter of the way down. And I just flick it lightly, light strokes, and just flick it right into my brows to fill them in and give them a little bit of definition. Otherwise, my brows just kind of get a little bit lost on my face. And because they're so light, it just looks a little bit off. But I like to do enough just to give it that definition. And they always say eyebrows frame the face. 
I think that's true. So I go back in with my spoolie and then I just brush it through. I don't put the makeup in the very beginning because I feel like it just doesn't look natural. The natural brow is it's always a bit more sparse here and then it gets fuller. So I just follow that with my makeup. And you can see that it does look just a lot more put together. It looks fuller and it's just going to make my face just look a little bit more awake. I just did my other eyebrow off camera just to save a little time on this video. You saw how I did it. And so I think my brows just look very natural and I just look a little bit more, like I said before, put together. So now I'm going to use this very simple, easy, friendly, user-friendly eye pencil. This is again by Nude Sticks. I'm a big fan of Nude Sticks. I feel that the products are really made with maturing women in mind. And this is the shade Copper Foil. And you can see it's just this pencil. So what I do is I just glide the pencil across my eye, and then I use my finger to just blend it through. You see that? And it's it's pretty, it just gives my space this little nice pop of color. Sometimes I'll even do it on the under eye area, and then I will just use my finger and blend it in. And this is one of those kind of foolproof makeup products, and they come in a, an assortment, a wide variety of beautiful colors, and you can just pick what's going to suit you the best and just use it on a daily basis, so easy. And also it's great to travel with, the ingredients are nice, and it just makes for an easy makeup look that is just, I don't know, easy to use. <laughs> so I'm going to then curl my lashes, and this is the Surratt lash curler. I have had this lash curler forever and honestly it's the only brand I will use. It is the absolute best. So to curl the lashes properly you really want to get in there and then you're going to just hold it tight and pump it a little bit and curl those lashes. So you can see already the lift that it's given me and I'm then going to go in first with this Dior Maximizer. Now I tend, sometimes my eyes will get a little bit watery um, because I wear you know mostly cream-based products. My eyes will sometimes pick up, um, the cream will sort of pick up on the mascara. And what I end up with is the horrible blackness underneath the eyes. So this sort of acts as a glue to keep my mascara on my lashes. The mascara that I absolutely love is this one. It's by Hourglass and it is called Caution and this is the shade Ultra Black. All the products I'm using, I will link down below and I do get a small commission if you choose to buy any of them. Um, when I say small, it is small. So then I just put my mascara on my lashes And I repeat it for the other eye as well. I just finished this eye and then did this eye off camera. I am really bad at putting mascara on camera. I just, I struggle with it. <laughs> so it's easier for me to just do it off camera, but to show you what I'm going to do. So this look is super simple. It's just that one eye pencil along with the eyelash curler, the eyelash primer, that was the white one I used, and then the mascara. And I put about two coats of mascara onto each eye. If you tend to get a lot of mascara on your skin or underneath your eye or on your eyelid while you're applying it, let it dry first and then use either a Q-tip or use the bottom of a, let me see, where did it go? Well, I guess use the bottom of one of your makeup tools and just use it to kind of, you know, push the mascara away, but wait until it's dry. Otherwise, if it's still wet, it's going to smear and just ruin your makeup. Lastly, for the lips, I'm going to use this Laura Mercier. This is the shade Camille, it's number 322. And this is just a little lip crayon with great ingredients. It's very hydrating, very moisturizing, and it feels 
great on my lips and it gives me just enough of a color. So it's not an overpowering lip look by any means, but it kind of pulls everything together. So I'm gonna use that. And then on top of it is one of my favorite products. It is the Lip Oil by Rodeal. I have no idea why this is called a lip oil. Let me tell you, it is not oily. This is just a wonderful cushion, non-sticky, just that perfect consistency for the lips. I am obsessed with this product. Um, this is one that I will continue to buy for <laughs> as long as it's being produced. It is just Oh, it's so nice on the lips. It has this natural vanilla scent to it. It has the ethyl vanillin in it and the ingredients are fabulous. And it's just honestly the best gloss I have ever come by in my entire life. The only complaint for me is called a, is that is called a lip oil because it is not oily at all. But this is just my everyday makeup. Now, if I wasn't talking to you while I was doing it, it would take me all of five minutes to do, and then I'm ready to just go about my day and do all the things I need to do. I know you're busy too. If you're wondering about my skincare routines at age 40, here is my daytime routine. I just filmed it, it is so fresh, and the ingredients of the products I use are phenomenal. You need to check this out right here.